Okay, we are going to cut the opening to place the sound piece onto the sphere for the whistle. The first thing that you need to do is to measure how wide the sound piece is. To do that, you're going to take a knife, line it up right on the sides of your sphere, and mark the width, just like this. That's how wide your sound piece is. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to cut the angled opening for where the air splits halfway up, halfway down. So you're going to cut this line right now. You're going to take that, and I'm going to hold this from the side so you can see what kind of angle I'm going to be cutting, and you're going to place the knife down into the sphere and cut it across as evenly as you can. Okay, we're not going to do anything else with that right now, we just know that that opening is right there. We're going to open it up later on. The next thing that you're going to do is create a seat area for this to sit in. I'll turn it this way so it's the same as the picture. So I want this to sit here, and in order to do that, I have to create an opening for it to sit on. I'm going to do that right in the same area, and I'm going to hold this parallel to the ground so it's like this and I'm going to cut that all the way through the sphere. The next thing I'm going to do is cut these sides to open up the opening. Lift the opening by the seat cut. Okay, so this doesn't look perfect, but this looks fine. So this is where the seat is going to be, right here. This is going to be my angled area, and I can just smooth out the side a little bit and try to straighten out the angle so that it is even as possible, but try not to handle this surface right here. That point, try to just leave it the way it is the more you handle it, the more it winds up not working. So I have these two things right here, and I'm going to be placing this inside of here. And ultimately, I want this opening, the air here, to hit the point of this angle straight through the channel and hit the point right in the middle. So half of the air goes down and half of the air goes up. What I would recommend doing now is doing some scoring and slipping so that when I place it in the correct position, I could just blend the sides to keep it in place. So I'm going to take a rake and do a little scoring on the seat area and a little on the walls. And I'm gonna take a little slip Put that on the inside. I'm going to do the same thing with the sound piece and a little slip and scoring where the two are going to attach. So that's a little on the bottom where that would sit and a little on the sides where that would sit. Put a little slip on that. And now I'm gonna place this in here. I'm gonna look through the opening to see if I could get this opening right in the middle of that angled piece. And then you have to basically test it out until it works. Once it works, then you're going to blend the sides in and you can use a knife tool for that or you can use a needle tool like this blend in the sides blend in the bottom as best you can and because this shifts you might want to retest it again and make sure it's still in the proper position
and that's how you have the basis for your whistle. Then you're going to add the pieces on top of it to make it your overall design.